All right, guys and gals. I am going to start a new thing on my channel that's going to involve basically like conservation efforts and maybe different topics that are happening probably mostly in Pennsylvania with the outdoors hunting and fishing mostly and but I might cover other states too but I'm going to start doing this hopefully like twice a month and just cover topics that my buddies and people I know in the outdoor industry we talk about that might you know be happening and maybe figure out maybe a root cause and sometimes you know it's hard to say like in today's topic that I'm going to talk about it's somewhat probably controversial with some hunters um, so most people I talk to feel the same way but there is a few that, that differ in that opinion and that's fine but anyways I'll get to the topic. Uh, I want to talk about the possibility of the turkey population in Pennsylvania declining. I, I've hunted turkeys probably, let me think, like 15 years now, 16 years. And my dad and my uncle were huge turkey hunters when they were younger. They still they'll hunt them, but just not as much. But so I've been around turkey hunting since I was a child, and. I can say honestly at least it was probably 10 years ago now but to me the population has definitely declined in the last I'd say 5 to 10 years. Um, there was a point 10 years ago, I'd, maybe 8 to 10 years ago, there was a lot more turkeys, at least turkeys that gobbled that I would, you know, we hunted Pennsylvania I think it was in 2011 enacted the two tags, it used to be only one tag per spring, now there's two and that was how good the turkey population was that they felt that they could add another tag so you know that that was something that has changed in 10 years or I guess 11 now but I don't think killing two gobblers knocked out the whole pot you know the population density to where it seems like there's a lot less today because one gobbler can breed a lot of hens and that's that's all it takes so but anyways, I've talked to 10 different people. I wanted to get kind of a, a spread of different opinions. And seven out of the 10 people that hunt pretty, pretty hard for turkeys in the spring said that they thought the turkey population was definitely down. The other three said that they just think it stayed the same for the last, I don't know, five years or so, which I could agree with maybe. It seems like it's been kind of steady decline and kind of maybe maybe about the same but seven of the ten I just, like I said felt like it definitely has declined which I agree with and you know there's I don't know there's a lot of different probabilities of why that could happen but I did some research online to kind of see what the Pennsylvania Game Commission and some other people like NWTF which is the Nat National Wild Turkey Federation is talking about what they think and then Outdoor News. So pretty reputable articles I was doing some research on and I, there's a graph on here which I'll put on this video so you can see what the Pennsylvania Game Commission has quote basically determined the population to roughly be and they do they have the high being in like 2001 that the most I guess maybe that's the most reported turkeys I guess that's maybe how they go is when people report their harvest but and then it has in 2009 the second highest peak like I said I'll put this graph on so you can see but then they have in 2014 and 15 it was it declined but they still had it at about 240,000 birds I'd say or 38,000 birds with the high like I said being in around 2000 2001 at 280,000 birds so it definitely has declined so I will I'll put it at like this in 2000, 2001, they had about 280,000 birds. They estimated the population. In 2019, they estimated it at 212,000. 
So, quite a big difference. Quite a big difference for sure. What is that, like 68,000 difference around that? So, let me see what they say. Here's what the Pennsylvania Game Commission in 2020 uh, biologists for them said eastern wild turkey populations across the range have recently been trending downward and Pennsylvania's wild turkey population is, so, is showing the same trend. There are several reasons for the decline. The natural leveling off of the population following population restoration from trap and transfer fluctuations due to annual nest success, nest success and poult survival. Fall harvest Increasing predation, possible unknown factors from new emerging diseases and changing environmental conditions. Our challenge as the wildlife managers is to determine what the new sustainable population should be given current and future socio-environment conditions. Our management strategy is to increase the population closer to the long-term average since restoration was completed in the early 2000s. We can most effectively manage turkey populations in two ways. This is what they say. Improve turkey habitat for nesting and poult rearing. The more than 1.5 million acres of state game lands are managed specifically for wildlife. However, private landowners can do the same in helping do this. Our second and more direct method of managing turkey populations is through fall turkey hunting season length. Results of our hen study demonstrated that fall hen harvest rates can be increased or decreased through one week adjustments to our fall season. On average, 60% of the fall harvest are hens, so minor adjustments to the fall season could increase, decrease female survival. That's the Pennsylvania Game Commission, that's what they say, so I, feel, I think through that they basically think it's just the population leveling off. So maybe 10, 20 years ago it was too high and now it's where it should be I guess it's kind of what they're saying so I don't know if I agree with that but anyways this one's from the National Wild Turkey Federation the NWTF was founded in 1973 when there were approximately 1.5 million wild turkeys in North America that's in the whole country after 40 years of effort, that number has reached a historic high of 6.7 million, so it's went way up since then. But today, turkey hunters are, our turkey numbers are down and are estimated at between 6 and 6.2 million birds. Why has the population dropped 15%? These recent declines may not be long term, but they do warrant close monitoring. Here are four facts that researchers find that may have caused a decline. Production, not predation, drives turkey populations. With high population density, a significant number of hens won't access quality nesting habitat and may not successfully hatch or raise brood. Carrying capacity can become an issue. Productivity is declining because hens are nesting in suboptimal habitat. Vegetation measurements contribute to the success of failure of nesting sites. Little vegetation means little chance at poult survival. Seems that in some areas birds have reached carrying capacity and have declined as the capacity of the habitat to support a number of birds has declined. If the habitat conditions decline across multiple counties and states, then birds have no choice but decline with it. So they basically are saying somewhat the same thing with the carrying capacity, and then this is obviously where hens are nesting and stuff. They're not. When there's too many, when there was too many, a lot of the hens didn't have, I guess, great places to nest because other ones were already there. And they don't really think predation from predators is a major cause, sounds like. And one more. This is from Outdoor News. Contributing to the decline of the wild turkey is the changing weather pa weather patterns increased this article thinks increased predator populations disease habitat loss and fall hunter harvest this has prompted the Pennsylvania Game Commission to make some tough decisions in an effort to boost turkey numbers across the state primarily the agency is focusing on protecting more hens since 
It is egg-laying brood, rearing females that ultimately drive the future of the population. When harvesting hens in the fall, you're not just taking one hen out of the population. You're also taking the young that she would have had in the following year, which is true. Based on years of hunter participation and harvest data, it was determined that two key p factors could lead to a reduction in fall harvest. Fewer days to hunt and limited weaponry, weaponry which I will throw in something. Pennsylvania, till a year or two, it might have been two years now, um, you could use rifles in the fall to harvest turkeys, but they changed that to now just shotgun and bows. And that was something they have changed to hopefully, I guess, help the turkey population. So, that, I mean, and they changed the season length in a lot of WMUs um, till one week. And I mean, I'm, I don't disagree with that. I've never been huge in I have shot some fall turkeys with a rifle when I was younger, usually a 22 Magnum. But I never, you know, it's not something that bothers me. I'd rather hunt them with a shotgun or bow. <laughs> I think it's much more um, enjoyable and you get to really experience the whole thing when a turkey comes in to close range and you get to work one in close. But anyways, they say that in the past by reducing season lengths in certain WMUs, which means wildlife management units, populations can recover over the next few years. Which I said earlier, several wildlife management units saw a reduction, some limiting fall season to a week and eliminating. We used to have a three day Thanksgiving turkey season. And that was all that's been changed too in a lot of WMUs. The data they have shows that 70% of fall turkey hunters use shotguns and take just under 60% of the fall harvest. In contrast, only 14% of hunters use rifles, but make up 33% of the overall harvest. So, like I said, I think most turkey hunters enjoy using the shotgun. So, but there is, that's a percentage, you know, 14% of hunters and 30%, 33% of the overall harvest in the fall is rifles. So there might be 33% more turkeys, so to say, that don't get shot in the fall. Currently, there are 12 other states that allow rifles for fall turkey hunting in only one state. Florida limits the fall harvest to bearded only birds. Huh. That's physical. I didn't know that. Usually... The states I've ever hunted, I used, I've hunted West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania for turkeys, and usually fall harvest is male or female turkeys. So that's interesting that Florida only lets you shoot. Not that hens do have beards sometimes, so I need to correct that. But normally a bearded bird is a male. And this is something they're talking about too. In Pennsylvania, we've seen numbers decline and more than two thirds of the wildlife management units in recent years. It might seem only logical to eliminate the second spring gobbler tag this, since some might view one hunter taking two birds in the same spring as unnecessary, unnecessary over harvest. Which I, didn't, I never read that, so that's something new. So maybe they are gonna eliminate the two tags in the spring. This is what I said earlier. This is one of the biologists quoting, quoted saying, the spring season does not impact the turkey population because the majority of, male, of the males we harvest are taken after peak breeding and hens are already incubating eggs. She said, we have a carefully timed season that intentionally finds middle ground between peak gobbling and a safe nesting period. So like I said earlier, you know, obviously there'll be more gobblers that make it, but it only takes one gobbler to made a lot of hens and when our season comes in in May a lot of them are already have been bred so hard to say if that'll help or not uh, 
Uh, this is something interesting. On average, the harvest rate for an adult male turkey is 38%, and the harvest rate for jakes, which a jake is a young turkey, like usually like a year old, it, its beard usually is only about that big, and they don't have spurs yet. Um, and if they do, they're very small spurs. Adult survival rate is 41%, while jakes have a 65% survival rate, meaning jakes can fill the place of excess toms removed after breeding each year with minimal impact to the population. And Pennsylvania hunters managed to amass an average annual harvest of 38,641 bearded birds in the spring and 17,602 mixed gender fall turkeys over a 10 year period. While a greater number of birds get taken each spring than fall, the fall harvest is what really matters. The fall harvest is what we call additive mortality since most of the birds would otherwise survive into the spring and unfortunately a fair number taken each fall are hens. Our hope is to improve turkey numbers by taking a more conservative approach to the fall seasons. So I'll put these links down below the video that you can look yourself, but I think from reading all this, I mean the populations definitely I think have, they have decreased and I guess I just hope that the carrying capacity like they're saying, you know, I hope it's higher because I know I hope that in coming years the population goes back to where it was like five, ten years ago and more hunters are hearing gobbles, you know, in the spring because it's one of the best feelings when you get out, the sun's coming up and you owl hoot or however you get on the gobble, even slam a car door, a truck door and all of a sudden one hammers, it's a great, great sound. And I know a lot of people I know this year have heard minimal turkeys gobbling in Pennsylvania and it's definitely uh, affecting spring, springtime hunting and hunters and the future of hunting is young, young people and the more turkeys that gobble and more action when they're young might hook them for life to keep this great, great, great tradition alive and I know for young people getting them on a turkey is something that might change their life forever. I know when I was young and killed my first turkey with my dad, it hooked me, hooked me for life. And I just hope that their tradi tradition continues that younger people can get to experience that too. And there's lots of turkeys in the future around because it truly is something that is, is awesome. But anyways, like I said, I'm gonna start doing conservation issues and about hunting and fishing and outdoors maybe twice a month, maybe more. We'll see how it goes, but anyways. I'd like to know your guys' uh, opinions on this. Let comments below. I'll try and respond to them. Something I deeply love is the outdoors and I wanna see it flourish for the next 500 years. <laughs> and I would like to see and hear what people are happen, having happen out there in the turkey woods, whether it's in Pennsylvania or other states, just to see. See you guys' thoughts, the best inputs, people that actually get out there and hunt. So, anyways, appreciate everybody who's watched. Till next time, keep it outside.